Hello and welcome viewers. You are going to be watching over the next three hours, Times Now special coverage of the Karnataka elections as we get into that area where all our necks are on a chopping block. That's because viewers, it's exit poll day. And in about uh, 30 minutes, Padmaja, we'll yeah. start, of course, uh, putting out some of the first projections from the Times Now ETG survey. It's a massive survey, viewers. Uh, we've gone down to pretty much every district, uh, every constituency that counts, that matters in Karnataka to get you that big number, the number that's going to tell us who's actually winning that election, or perhaps, as a lot of people are saying, throw up some sort of a extremely intriguing result where, once again, it'll be back to resort politics, uh, the politics of last resort. Uh, but viewers, whatever it is, it's been one of those campaigns that promises to set the tone for the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. There's no doubt about that. The Prime Minister himself has invested a huge amount of his political capital, Padmaja, in this state. Uh, Rahul Gandhi, who began actually uh, fundamentally, uh, his Bharat Joro Yatra with a deep emphasis on Karnataka spent a number of days there, saw massive crowd response according to... Maximum days. Maximum, maximum days, days in Karnataka, yes. And, and also maximum, um, so they say, hmm. maximum response from the crowd. So it really made it an interesting election. Of course, there are some very big issues uh, that have come up over the last... Um, uh, what should one say, 45 days of hectic campaigning. But it's like really the last 15 days that is really occupied. So here it, is uh, the binary that one can really look at in these elections. It yeah. was a massive fight and the fight of the year, I think we can safely say, which is going to set the tenor for what happens in 2024. But it's not just about who will win. You know, there, there are so many things this election will decide. First, let's talk about what is the main thrust. Is this going to be an local issue based election which is what the congress hopes it will be or will it be a modi driven election which is what the bjp has tried to do in the last 20 days that's point number one point number two is that from here on if the congress manages to lose and i say manage because even the most severest critics are saying they are ahead in this election if they lose it then all the other non-bjp parties are going to start saying we will lead the opposition bloc, Mr. Gandhi. You please step back because Karnataka was as sure as shot. Now, a Mamta Banerjee, an Arvind Kejriwal, a Nitish Kumar, maybe even uh, Mr. Naveen Patnaik are going to say, why you? You think they're really waiting for the outcome to even say this? I, uh, I, I think they would because right. this really seems like one thing is for a fact mm -hmm. that Congress is the biggest national party right now mm -hmm. before the BJP. So the other parties are very, uh, you know, cynically dismissed by the Congress as regional players. Now they'll say, what regional player? Ahmadmi Party is already a national party, newly anointed. They'll say, look, we are in power in two states, one and a half states. You are also very close because now they have Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh. That's it, right? So, I, three, I think, three states. I think she's got a point. I think viewers, uh, at the end of the day, this is as much about opposition unity and a test for the opposition uh, going up into 2024 as it is really a test for the BJP and its own claims that a double engine really brings about change and wins over or defeats anti-incumbency. Yeah. I, I don't know if that is going to happen because as of now... Uh, most pollsters are predicting the BJP not really making it. Now, yeah. Sorry. So, so in terms of issues, let's look at the big issues. We've shortlisted about five issues which could well decide what the voter today has voted for. Number one, like we said, it's a double engine versus reverse engine. And for all of this, this were pretty much the same themes that echoed through the elections. So, double engine versus reverse engine, how it played out in the polls, let's listen. Contractor Association Pradhan Mantri ko chitthi likhta hai, kehta hai ki Karnatak mein 40% commission liya ja raha hai, Pradhan Mantri chitthi ka jawab nahi dete. To Pradhan Mantri yaha aate hai, Pradhan Mantri ko sab se pehle Karnatak ki janta ko samjhana chahiye, ki unho ne ye jo 40% भ्रष्ट सरकार है इसके बारे में क्या किया कितने लोगों को प्रधानमंत्री ने गिरफ्तार करवाया प्रधानमंत्री ने कितनी इंक्वायरी कराई सवाल यह है 
कि 40 परसेंट में से कौन से इंजन को कितना मिला क्या कर्नाटका का विकास ऐसी कांग्रेस पार्टी कर सकती है जिसका लक्ष्य भ्रष्टाचार और तुष्टिकरण हो कर सकती है क्या क्या 85 फाइव परसेंट कमीशन खाने वाली कांग्रेस कर्नाटका के नौजवानों का भविष्य बना सकती है कभी नहीं बना सकती दोस्तों वर करप्शन इज बिकम अ बिग इश्यू एंड इट इज इन सम वे टाइड इन विथ गवर्नेंस एज यू नो व्यूअर्स एंड स्पेशली द प्रोमिस दैट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज मेड ना मैं खाने दूंगा ना खाऊंगा बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली इन कर्नाटका देर हैज बिन ए मैसिव बैकलैश अगेंस्ट द भारतीय जनता पार्टी स्पेसिफिक लीडर्स हु फाउंड देयर नेम्स बींग ड्रैग रियली अक्रॉस द मक सो टू स्पीक पद्मजा बिकॉज ऑफ करप्शन फोर्टी परसेंट सरकारा इज वॉट मेनी पीपल आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पीपल सेंग देर फेड अप विद करप्शन एक्सेट्रा एंड द कांग्रेस रियली एज यू सो एम्पलीफाइड दैट एंड देर फोर सेट द डबल इंजन सॉरी दिस इज द डबल इंजन ऑफ करप्शन दिस दैट द अदर but uh, let's open this up because we have with us sophologist uh, jay mook perhaps the best in the country today uh, jay 